moved over. Anyways, um, welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, this is day 15 of practice and it's a Sunday yum. So Sunday yums are where again, we're on the floor and I wear my Sunday jumpers. And um, yeah, it's really, it's just, it's lovely. I really like Sunday yums. Um, so come lie on the floor and let's begin. Come, come. So lying on the floor, your knees are bent. And just find the floor beneath you, that sense of a wiggle, um, a sense of rocking of the pelvis, moving of your head, wiggling of your shoulders. You know, sometimes the analogy I feel here is a bit like a bear in the woods scratching his back on a tree. So maybe try that. You know, how would you move your hips one way and your shoulders the other? So it's a bit like when we're doing our, our cat pose and we do a coordination. So we squeeze one side of the ribs and squeeze the other. Another way of saying that is bring your hip and your elbow in the same direction as each other, towards each other. And then your hip and your elbow. So like feel like you're wiggling on your mat. Nice. And then just pause and feel the floor. There you go. Ah, oh, yes, there's the floor. And then flatten your lower back down and arch. Flatten your lower back down and arch. One more time. Flattening down, arch. Nice. And then rock your knees from side to side. And enjoy the sensations that emerge. You know, in the very beginning, I think it was day two of practice, we talked about the washing machine. It was day one, I'm not sure. And so the washing machine idea is that as we move, we encounter and discover all kinds of unexpected things. So same thing, you know, in your kitchen, you think, oh, my kitchen's so clean. And then you pull out the washing machine and you go, whoa, there's something there that I hadn't encountered, hadn't thought about for a while. So same thing, sometimes in maybe the standing poses or maybe the, the lying down deep hip poses, you'll feel things that you haven't met in a while. So go gently. So you're back to center, feet are on the floor, and then just start by squeezing your right knee up towards you. And just let that feeling of squeezing deeply. I'm folding into the right hip and I'm trying to soften or melt or fall back towards the floor a bit more. So often what I feel in the beginning with this movement is that I'm resisting the, the folding. And then there's a certain point where my, my hip feels like a stone falling down through water. And suddenly there's a surrendering to the folding. And I feel the weight of my thigh and my hip falling backwards into my sacrum, into my lower back. Just feel, how do you surrender and soften into the right hip? Nice change. Draw your left knee up towards you, squeeze it in. And notice maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I'd say there is resistance. And then see how you soften into it. So I'm pulling, pulling, pulling with my hands. And then the deep fold of my hip is softening into the shape of this. And then I feel the weight of that falling down through my pelvis into the sacrum at the back. I really feel that like the descending weight of my hip suddenly starts to happen. Whereas before that, it's pushing upwards against my leg. Nice. Both feet to the floor. So widen into your knees. So bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart and the baby toe edge of my feet is resting on the floor. Always when I do this, I push my elbows down and I walk my ribs away from my hips. And suddenly then my spine feels long and I feel like there's, I don't have to pull my lower back down or anything. It's just naturally in a better place. Okay. And then draw your right knee up towards you again. So now we have more elements happening. Same movement with the right leg, but now the left leg is also deepening and lengthening. So just pause there. How would you surrender the weight of you into the floor here. It's that, it's that thing where it's suddenly much more complex. I'm like, oh, there's the, the deep of my right hip falling backwards, but then there's the inner thigh on the left side and they're connected. So as I soften one, I soften the other, and then I go, no, 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 
do and then so it's like this inner dynamic of how do i create enough softness enough connection enough everything to just have that sense of yeah how do i surrender how do i surrender How do you surrender? Soften. Nice. Other side. Both soles of your feet together, knees apart. Draw the left knee up towards you. And draw your knee deeply down. And again, feel the new dynamic. So there's the left hip softening backwards, but that's connected to the inner thigh on the right. How do I soften? For me, the exhalation is a really deep tool in the softening. So inhalation has an action to it, a certain sense of engagement. And then the exhalation has a falling and a surrendering. So inhale, just notice how they're different to each other. And then as you exhale, there's a falling, sinking, softening, softening. Just notice that inhaling, there's a filling, a sense of engagement. And then the exhale has a softening. It's like a hitchhike, a ride on the softening of the exhalation. Nice. Both soles of your feet together. Pause. So the soles of your feet together, your knees are apart. So now we're going to take that movement and bring it to the next stage. So bring your right knee up towards you, squeeze it in. Nice. And then from here, you're going to mm, actually, no, come back. Both soles of your feet together. This is a better way in. So bring your arms wide and my elbows are connected into the floor. So my elbows are really strong. So just feel that. Push your elbows a few times into the floor. Notice what happens to your spine between your shoulder blades. So interesting. And now keeping your, your feet together, drop the right knee over towards the left knee. But my big toes are still touching. And then come back to center and then do the right leg again. So the right knee will travel over towards the left. And then the right knee will travel back, soles your feet together. And I'm keeping my big toes touching the whole time. So I'm rolling across and then I'm coming back. Nice. So this movement has three layers. Bring your right knee over and then bring it back. So we're going to do the same movement with the right leg, but this time we're going to do it with our foot in the air. So your knee is directly over your hip. And then you're going to draw your right knee over towards the left. And then you're going to draw your right knee as far to the right as it goes, but my left leg stays where it is, over towards the left. So my right leg is traveling over towards the right. No, over towards the left, sorry. And then over towards the right. And a bit like what we were doing earlier, how do you find a way to deepen into the surrendering or the softening part of this movement? So right knee goes over to the left, and I squeeze my knee in the direction of the floor. And then right knee goes to the right and I lengthen deeply and I feel resistance through the inner thighs. So right knee to the left, squeeze, right knee to the right, lengthen. Okay, right knee to the left, squeeze, right knee to the right, lengthen. So stay at this level or bring your knee back over your hip and straighten your leg. So See what you want to do, okay? So drop your right leg down towards the left. And then drop your right leg towards the right. Drop your right leg towards the left. And then drop your right leg towards the right. And so maybe you've decided that straight leg is too strong. Go back to the one before with your leg floating. Maybe you go back to the one where your feet are still touching and the big toes are touching. One more time, right leg over towards the right and choose your distance. So we are gonna pause here. So maybe your toes are still touching. Maybe your foot is floating. Maybe your leg is straight. Just lengthening into your leg, deepening. Nice. Bend your knee, come back to center, other side. So, so, keeping your toes together, squeeze the left knee over towards the right. 
and then bring your left knee to the left. Feet are together the whole time. Your left foot is staying in connection to gravity, so your foot is on the floor. Left knee to the left, left knee to the right. Left knee squeezes to the left, left knee squeezes to the right. Nice, one more time. Left knee to the left, left knee to the right. Now we're gonna float our foot in the air. Our knee is directly over our hip. Left knee to the right, squeeze it down. Left knee to the left. Feel the length of the drag through the inner thighs. Left knee to the right, left knee to the left. One more time, left knee to the right, squeeze it down left knee to the left if that felt strong enough stay there or straighten the left leg and travel with a straight leg left leg to the right left leg to the left left leg to the right left leg to the left nice one more time left leg to the right pause there so again you can have your feet together your knee bent or your legs straight Really finding what's the best thing for your leg. You're not at the, the maximum sense of discomfort that you can imagine. You're not struggling in it. You're really well, steady and strong. So choose the distance that you go to with your leg. Your expanding wellness. Okay, bend your knee, come back to center. Super cool, great. Squeeze your knees up towards your chest, wrap your arms around your knees. Just pause there, squeezing both in towards you now. Super. So stretch your right leg long and lengthen and squeeze your left leg towards you. Nice change. Stretch your right leg long. Oh, the other way around. So just keep pulling one knee towards you and lengthen the other leg long. Okay. Super. So bring both feet to the floor. We're going to do a side body thing. So squeeze your right hip and your right knee towards the uh, right hip and right elbow towards each other and draw the right leg up towards you. So I'm squeezing the right side deeply. And I stretch into the left leg, stretch into the left arm. So my left side is really long and the right side is really squeezed. Nice, come back to center. Both feet on the floor, both arms beside you. And then squeeze the left side deeply, 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 deeply. Knee is up towards you, elbows down towards your hip. My face has moved a bit towards the left. And then reach the right side long. My arm and leg are on the floor and then come back to center so you can begin to travel from side to side keeping your arm and leg on the floor or you can begin to float your arm and leg off the floor so you're squeezing really deeply on one side and then you're lengthening on the other if you want you can hold on to your left knee as you pull it up towards you you can hold on to your right knee as you pull it up towards you or you can stay floating without holding which is the harder version so you're just stretching squeezing one side stretching the other squeezing one side stretching the other and my head is naturally moving from one side to the other remember you can keep your foot on the floor as you lengthen you can keep your arm on the floor or you can float nice one more time each side lengthening um lengthening cool both feet to the floor pause So bring your hands together into a steeple. So that's where your two palms are touching and your arms are straight. And you're gonna try and keep your elbows, your arms straight as you do this. So the movement has to happen not in the elbows, but in the shoulders. So bring your feet as wide as your mat. Shimmy yourself a little bit so you feel the connection to the floor with your pelvis and your feet, and your feet are gonna stay flat. And then slowly bring your two hands over towards the right side. And there's a certain point where your shoulder has to learn how to move this way. The first time you do it, you might find that you stop somewhere or you might find that you go all the way down. And just begin to travel from side to side. Feet are staying flat on the floor. And you're really trying to hear how you roll your shoulder blades across your rib cage. 
you can keep your head on the floor and then it just naturally just pops off as your head goes low. You can lift your head if you wish, but know that you can relax your neck more if you're finding that it's a lot of work on your neck. You don't have to work so hard. You can choose to work harder, but you don't have to. So relax your neck more if you're feeling like it's working. Engage your neck a little bit more if you feel like it's not working. So it's having choices is really important for the body. Next time you come over towards the right, pause there. So my arms are over towards the right, my feet are flat on the floor. Nice, and now drop both knees down towards the right. Pause there. And then pull the left elbow back and pull the left knee up. And then you're gonna reach long. So your left arm is going overhead and you're reaching into alarm clock. So alarm clock is where you're reaching for the alarm clock above your head and your left foot is super long. Pull your elbow down, tuck your chin in, look down towards your navel and then reach and look towards your left hand as you reach it overhead. Tuck your chin in, look down towards your navel. Super long with your arm. Nice, last time. Squeeze it in. And then lengthen long, bring your hand to the floor and just pause there. You can keep floating your left foot off the floor so that you're reaching. It's like this persistent reaching with the left foot. And just breathe into the space between your shoulder blades at the back, into the side of the ribs. Feel the deep squish of the right arm. Nice. Come all the way back onto your back. Pause there. Feet are as wide as your mat. Arms are up towards the ceiling into a steeple. We'll travel again. Arms down towards the left. Back to center. Arms down towards the right. Center. Next time you go to the left, pause there. Both hands are down towards the left side. Both feet are flat on the floor. Nice. Drop your knees to the left. And then pull your right elbow back, tuck your chin in and draw your right knee up. And then reach overhead long and reach your right leg long. So I'm super long and straight into a straight line. Bend your knee, pull your elbow back, pull your knee forward. Bring your nose down towards your knee. And super long. Nice, bend your elbow, bend your knee. Super long, one last time. Bend your elbow, bend your knee. Super long, pause there. So my fingers are on the floor above my head, my right fingers are on the floor, but they're still sliding, they still have a sense of reach. My right foot is seeking, seeking, seeking to get longer. I'm breathing into the space between my shoulder blades at the back side of the ribs. Deep compression into the left side. Nice, come all the way back, land on the floor, cool. So feet are still as wide as your mat, you're lying on your back, your arms are wide. Drop both knees down to the right, turn your head also towards the right, and then walk your left foot back a bit behind you. So I'm heel toeing my left foot back behind me, and suddenly I have this sense of whew, this length down through the front of the left thigh. But because I'm choosing the distance that I go to, if it feels too strong, then walk it back a little bit towards the middle again. Okay, so just choose. And now just soften your shoulders, widen them, let them rest into the floor. Soften your face. I really feel that gravity is pulling your face towards the right. Your cheek is more rounded on the right. There's more saliva in your cheek on the right. The eye on the right is more rounded on the underside. There's a sense of hang or drag through the face into the right side. And then feel that through your shoulders. There's more weight backwards. Feel it through your rib cage, letting your ribs fall and settle back. Let your belly fall backwards towards your spine. Let your hips settle towards the floor. Deepen your breath into the front of that left thigh. Again, every time you exhale, let the exhalation soften you down, settle you in.
Nice. Walk your left foot back to center so that your two feet are on the edges of your yoga mat again. Arms are wide and then drop both knees down towards the left. Turn your head towards the left. And then heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, your right foot back until it's a little bit further towards the right, until there's a, a supportive, growing, lengthening feeling on the front of your right leg. If it's too strong, then you've gone too far, okay? Again, feel now that the drag or the weight of your face is falling into the left side of you. The left eye is a little bit roundier. Left cheek is roundier, the side of your mouth. Your, everything's hanging on the left side. And let your neck soften into the gravity. Shoulders are wide, backs of your arms. Let your chest fall backwards towards your shoulders, towards the spine. Let your ribs soften towards the spine. Let your belly settle and deepen towards the spine. Pelvis settles. Hips soften, breath deepens. And every time you exhale, Sink a bit deeper into the front of your right thigh. Nice. Walk your foot back to center. Come back to center. Squeeze both knees up towards your chest and just rock from side to side. Nice. Bring both feet to the floor and then choose how you want to rest. Either rock, squeeze, lengthen, lengthen up, soles your feet together. Let me find how do you rest? How do you settle? How do you deepen and pause? Um, that was really yummy. That was very yummy. Um, hope you have a great day. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to a pajama day today, hanging out, uh, pottering around. Um, yeah, lovely. So I'll see you tomorrow. Um, we'll be moving towards standing again tomorrow. We'll do it slowly. First half of the class will probably be on the ground and then we'll slowly move upwards. Um, so be well. Um, resource yourself deeply. Oh, and fe February, the plan for February is emerging. Always sometime around the middle of the month, then I was like, oh, I know what we're going to do. It's like this month will lead into the next. It's pretty cool. So I have to organize pictures and stuff. And um, so, yeah, sometime next week I will launch February. And so you know what's coming. Okay. Um, so be well, be awesome, be you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, have a great day. And hi to those of you in Dingle. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> oh, it's very sweet. <laughs> Great. Okay. Bye-bye.